Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate Van Leuven and we've got an exciting video today. I think I'm ready to start my next journal. I'm getting tired of this journal. I just want to finish it up. Here is how she is looking. I'm almost finished with it so I might as well start my next journal now. So I think this is the journal I am going to use. I think I just got this journal from like maybe a Marshalls or a, yeah, I think a Marshalls. It has a cat and it says stay curious. Normally I like to have plain ones so I can put stickers all over, but I think I'll just put stickers in the space around it. Just have a cat theme. And then this band that I had on it is going to be my band for this journal because it doesn't come with a band. So I have to put some kind of strap around it so that'll stay together because as you can see, journals get kind of thick and you need something to hold it together. So I went to Dollar Tree and someone commented this tip on one of my videos a while ago. I thought it was a really cool idea. So the tip is just to go to Dollar Tree or just a dollar store and find the headbands like these and use them as a journal strap. This one came in a set of two. I have a teal one somewhere, but literally these were the only ones I could find at Dollar Tree. I was just happy to find some this time because I didn't before. And this one's really fun because it has pearls on it. It goes with this all pink theme of this journal. And yeah, it seems like this will work really well. So I'm really excited for this life hack. And the inside of this journal is really nice too. I love the inside paper and the lined paper is nice because the lines are light enough. I don't like when the lines are super dark. So I'm excited. I did get this sticker from Etsy. I'll link the shop down below. I actually have the name in my journal somewhere. So this shop is called brook.illust. I made a little spread in my journal when I got the order in the mail. I definitely recommend going and supporting small businesses on Etsy. She even gave me a little freebie. Honestly, I have no idea where that freebie went. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. Maybe that will turn up. I'm kind of a mess right now. So I really love this sticker and the reason I got it was because I wanted to kind of mark this time. I think it would just be really cool on this journal while we're still dealing with this to show the time of when I wrote this journal. I just thought that would be really cool. Another Etsy shop sticker that I got was this sticker from Ella Hosp. I think that's how you say her name. Her Etsy shop, I think, is just Ella Hosp. It's just Ella with one L. And I found her on TikTok. I saw this sticker, and this is, like, the most perfect sticker I've ever seen, so I had to get two. Like, I love this color and, like, the little smiley face and, like, the quote, like, it's is very accurate literally no clue what's going on right now that's me all the time especially in school so i don't know if i'll put this oh yeah that would be cute on this journal okay i think i'll put it on this journal i just love this one so much so i had to get two i also got some stickers on redbubble but these stickers are like music stickers well just mainly Billie eilish i did get some rex too though so i might put it on here but i don't know i might save these for some kind of music Thing. Maybe I'll like put one of these on here. Could be cool. Um, and then of course we've got my other box of stickers and I showed some of these in my last video where I decorated my iPad. So I have my newest All Things Leanne stickers and I think these go so well with the theme of this journal. So those are a big option for me. And then I have some of the leftover red bubble ones like this one. But like I said, I don't get a full cover for this one, so might not have as many stickers. So I'm just going to sort out some that I could potentially use. Okay, I'm going to try to stick with what I've got so far. Okay. I think I definitely want to put this one here. Like, look at how this color in the inside kind of matches this. That would be cool. So I think I'm going to save the sticker for my journal after this because I think that one will overlap with the presidential election. So I think that would be very fitting. Um, just like this one is like fitting for this. That sticker would have been oddly fitting for right now. Actually, because she just passed away when I'm recording this little bit. It was yesterday. 
if you don't know who that is, that is Ruth Bader Ginsburg, aka RBG. Okay, I can probably place this one down now because I'm pretty certain about this one. Uh, it's so beautiful. I can't tell, do we want these down here together or switch them? This is like one of my favorite parts of journaling, is decorating the cover. It's so much fun. If you don't decorate the cover of your journal, you should do it. And I recommend just like these big individual stickers like this, because they hold up a lot better on the journal rather than like smaller stickers or washi tape that's just um, a little messy. I find like this, these are beautiful. See, journaling has given me a reason to use these because I want to put it in a place where like I get to see it and like I don't want to feel like I'm wasting it. So by doing this, like it's like a forever thing because I always will have my journals and I get to see the cover a lot when I'm like actually journaling and just a way for me to hold on to all these stickers and it's so much fun. And that's why I don't like using these big stickers on pages inside because like I don't want to waste them. I'm so excited. This one is actually so fun. I feel like this is like right up my alley with the orange and the green and the pink and like the rainbows. And then we will just put this on here to hold it together. And of course I can always switch out the band if I'm not liking it. I've found some bands in these little sets at Walmart. Like not, they don't look like this, but they're like actual journal bands and they still sell them. I've seen them there again. And then also there's this hack and then I'm sure you can find other ones. But when I was looking, the only ones I was able to find were for bigger journals. I need something to hold together this size. This size journal, I think is like an A5, I mean an A6. This is an A5 journal. Well, and then this is an A6 journal. So I guess this journal is just somewhere in between. I honestly really don't know. I kind of wanted to switch back to a smaller journal, but honestly, I think this is like the perfect size because it's like an in-betweener. Okay, now we have to go to the inside of the journal and get this set up. So this is my current journal. And as you can see, I start my journals with a little start page. This was journal number four. And I do like a little welcome thing. That's basically what's happening if you haven't seen one of my videos where I do this, where I set up my journal. So this is journal number five. I'm not sure how I wanna do this. So I actually have a class in about 10 minutes, so I will see you guys after my class or just sometime later today. I am back. It is after school now, and we need to figure out how I'm gonna set up this inside part. I think I might use one of these. <gasps> Wait, I have an idea. But if you're wondering, I found these on AliExpress. So this is my stationary binder. And in here, I have some things that I got from Pen Pals. Which I haven't been pen paling lately. Life's just too busy. But these are all from Ashley. Hi, Ashley, if you're watching this. She sent some great memo notes. Including these. I'm so obsessed with these. So maybe one of these as the little inside. And these would even go together. I'm not sure if I should overlap it this way or this way. I think what I'll do is this will say journal volume 5 and or just volume 5 and then this will have the start and end date. Now I need to figure out what to use to write volume 5. I could use some of these gold stickers. These are some of my favorite. I forgot where I got them from. These might have been just something my mom got me. Or possibly the container store which sounds very random. I'm running out of glue. I'm starting to go through it so fast I feel like glue and glue tape. So I have no glue sticks with me right now. I ordered them on Amazon but they have not come I guess.
Then I need to do a number five. I'm using this little piece of paper because I'm really loving how this is going, so I don't want to mess it up. I think I'm going to try to use this light blue first. So I want the outline of this to look a little messy. Probably looks better with a thinner pen. This one, I don't really have the urge to do a kind of welcome page. The reason I did the welcome pages in some of my other journals was because I wanted to talk about why I was excited for that journal and things I liked about this new journal and didn't like about my old journal and just those kind of things. I'm not really interested in doing that for this one, so I'm just going to leave it with just this cover page and this sticker cover. It's kind of hard to see how this really looks because this is creating... Oh wait, you can see it now. When I hold this up, you can actually see it. So, but of course then it creates a shadow. The letters are like golden balloons and I love that so much. But when I do this, you can't really see that as well. I kind of have to create that shadow to be able to see it. So there it is. This is probably my favorite cover page I've ever made. I'm super excited about it. And then we have the cover. So this is my last little flip through. There's not much to look at, but we've got the cover with all the stickers on top and the Stay Curious. I'm just now noticing this, but the Stay Curious is gold, so it kind of matches the volume five. Yeah, so this is the final. And then I'll just keep this little strap on it. Technically it's a headband. So yeah, I'll have this on it. And that's what it looks like. I'm so excited to start it. Since I'm posting this, that usually means that my flip through will be coming soon because that means I'm wrapping up my other journal and I'm getting excited about starting a new journal. So yeah, I still have a little bit to get through of my journal, but my flip through is coming soon of this journal. So get very excited about this one. That is it. Hopefully you like this video and I will see you guys in my next one.